Good morning, traders. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? Is everyone all right? Yeah, sometimes I'm expecting to write something on the chat, but <laughs> that's okay. What to do? So, guys, um, we start with a euro US dollar, that's the four hour time frame, and if you watch the previous uh, live, you should know that we do have this bullish engulfing order block formed on the four hour at around this channel area. So let's see if the price will bounce upwards. Also, there is another bullish engulfing order block down here. And when there are two bullish engulfing order blocks, the one very close to each other, I prefer to place my limit orders on the second one. Um, many times i don't get feel because the price just bounce from the bounce uh, off from the first one but it is uh, what it is and i believe every trader has their own different plan so yeah with this um and, and in trading guys we have to uh to start trading what we see and not what we believe or what we want to happen we trade what we see. The price created this solid bullish engulfing order blocks here. Actually, that's the inside one. This one here, but it's still a good, valid, nice uh, order block. So we we have to wait and and, and we have to decide: Are we going to trade here or we're going to trade there? I decided that I want to trade here. So. If some traders they took this order block and they placed their limit orders maybe here or somewhere in the middle, that's totally fine. Um, uh, next one, Great British Pound, US dollar. The price is also moving to the downside. Not any major significant move, but yesterday we saw this massive drop. And if the price will move upwards, so here it's the four hour order block to get ready and pick up some potential trade. Next one, USDJPY. Uh, price makes higher highs and higher lows on this four hour time frame. Let's check the daily chart. Yesterday was bullish, now it's interacting with the moving averages. So uh, the order block here on the four hour time frame was this one. If we go down to the hourly chart, we'll see that the price created a new hourly order block and is the tail here. Guys, I've, I've made a very informative webinar about order block, especially about order blocks, how to trade them uh, with um, our preferred prop firm trading tips. So if you want to check it out, I believe today or on Monday, the guys will upload it on the channel so uh, you can check it out so far i'm still looking for long positions until this area of resistance and remember guys we are um, getting ready for the london trading session we don't know what the market will do during the new york trading session okay um, next one uh, australian dollar us dollar the price declined yesterday and as you see here yesterday it printed this bearish candle now it's bouncing it's hovering around the last week low and um the swing previous swing high so it's also the congestion here as we put it out on the technical analysis uh last week so let's see if the price will find some support at this point. The lower the time frame will go, of course, the more detail we'll see. This pattern here indicates that the buyers are not that strong. Okay. And there are two possibilities. The first possibility is to see a double bottom here, and then we're going to pick up trades to the upside or a break to the downside. Next one, New Zealand US dollar. Finally, the trade played off. Uh, we got a good uh, run yesterday on this one. That was a winning trade. Today, what we are looking on this one, 
primarily we are still looking for short this is the area of support now maybe the price will retrace a little bit to the upside somewhere here maybe or we'll find some resistance at this point and then we'll sell off uh, so for those who took that trade we posted on our telegram channel if you are not on the telegram channel and you want to get into the telegram channel it's, a, it's for free totally for free um, and yeah you can you can join it's on uh, it's on market mind mastery YouTube uh, detail oh no actually I think if you click on the details underneath this live you will find the, uh, the link uh, which one next next USDCHF uh, another winning trade came yesterday or no yesterday the the New Zealand played out this morning actually the trade and the USDCHF uh, that was one and a half to one trade we took so that was a good one as well now let's see what's going to happen the price is entering into a four hour bearish engulfing order block so we might going to see some sort of reaction here there is also this well-defined order block there is activity here to be honest so maybe we can get filled i have another pending order to go short on this one so let's see if this is going to play out because the price enters at the resistance area pound jpy price consolidates here on the four hour time frame very messy on the one hour time frame ah yeah that looks good now bullish and golfing guys the market is trendless it doesn't go anywhere there is no structure so don't try to squeeze a trade that perhaps it's not there yeah euro us dollar euros uh, japanese yen similar nothing here aussie yen uh, i still my goodness look at this we had this area of resi of support to pick up the trade and remember yesterday on the webinar we spoke about we spoke about the australian dollar japanese yen on the four hour time frame i think on the on the hourly time frame that we have this four hour order block here and the price respected so well and it moved downward so if someone enter right here at the monthly resistance with a stop loss about 30 pips um you should have take 62 so two to one that was a two to one trade if you went for 25 pips yes yeah, still two to one trade now it depends on your brokers and depends on the spread okay sometimes you see the price uh touch especially when you do back testing the price touches exactly your take profit but due to the spread coverage you know the bid and the ask lines they both have to move um, under the take profit if you're short that's why sometimes the price the, the trade doesn't close so on this one i'm still waiting for the price to come here if it, if it will come uh us um, sorry swiss japanese yen the price here touched the order block here it was the nice order block uh, again i didn't get feel because i didn't have entry i didn't check it to be honest earlier today that's okay cat jpy nothing um new zealand jpy nothing euro australian dollar i'm looking for the price to move a bit higher before i enter short pound canadian dollar still around this monthly resistance nothing interesting i have a pending order on the euro new zealand so let's see what's going to happen and if you guys want to check this trade it's also on the telegram um, the entry the stop loss and all this stuff pound dollars it was uh, that trade on the hourly time frame since then i don't have anything else on this one what's going on on the daily chart actually no on the daily chart there is a bullish with higher highs and higher lows and today the price made higher highs and higher lows 
guys let's keep an eye on this one looks like it's a good one now so on the daily chart that's a room of opportunity and on the hourly time frame that was the order block our price entered there then there is another order block here you can use it for potential buying opportunities So from this low to this high, 61.8%, it's between 61.8 and 78.6% to Fibonacci retracement. So an alert will go here. Alert. And that's for a bullish engulfing order block by order. If you want to place the alert guys in case the price comes down before it makes a new high pound cut sideways pound new zealand it will approach in uh, 30 pips this swing high it's a strong swing high We can watch this one for potential reversals or breakouts. NASDAQ, nothing consolidates here. S&P 500, same. It came yesterday at this resistance, all time high. US 30, our resistance worked really well. And uh, the price yesterday got rejected here at this order block we mentioned it yesterday multiple order blocks one here one there and a freshly one here and the price guess what of course drop down german 40 finally at this 18,000 uh, below 18,100 bearish engulfing at this 200 Fibonacci extension guys we marked it on our chart uh, some weeks ago price came here decline moved lower let's see if it's going to continue moving lower or if it's going to bounce upward the most important thing is that it respected the 200 Fibonacci extension okay Australian dollar Canadian dollar nothing okay if you use the daily chart as your higher time frame price made a higher high is retesting this monthly swing recent swing high and monthly support as well monthly high rejection at at this area if we go down to the lower time frame I'm not sure about this one guys the there is an order block here that it's been touched but it's not a strong area at this point maybe the price will fluctuate a little bit I don't want to pick up any trades here primarily because I don't know where I'm going to put my stop loss that's all it's not a clear clear one price didn't uh, reach as neither the 50 or 61.8 percent from the Fibonacci retracements from the levels no I'm not interested in that one guys gold guys any other currency pairs I will cover the gold US oil and few of the cryptocurrencies for today gold on the daily chart uh, that's a double insight so inside another insight on the four hour time frame we still uh, mark this order block down here on the hourly time frame for intraday trading i don't see anything now perhaps you can mark this tiny order block from here then your resistance is going to be up there that's a bit tricky in my opinion because the daily chart of our time frame they don't show any clear direction 
WTI, nice price made higher high. Let's use the extension tool, Fibonacci extension, to find the nearest. Okay, so price still has room until the $82 and $83. This is going to be the room of opportunity if we're going to go long. And why not to go long? Let's see what's going to happen here. After the price, guys, pay attention to this, please. After the price break above, broke above the weekly high, uh, the sellers didn't create a false breakout. Like, look at the sellers here around this resistance. Boom, down. Sellers here and then down. Before they enter this order block, sellers down. So the sellers at this point here, they didn't uh, push the price lower. So looks like we're going to continue looking for long positions if we um, drill down to the one hour time frame yeah ideally i would like here here it's a, a lot of activity between buyers and sellers you can see the candles and the, the buyers defended it really well and pushed the price away from this support so if the price will decide to come down and retest this area here i would definitely look to pick up some trades and maybe I will hide my stop loss underneath this low here. Bitcoin yesterday, it uh, followed this um, this sell off. Okay, it's not a sell off because that's the hourly time frame on the daily chart. It just stopped at 161.8 Fibonacci extension, moved lower. It's going to make a little bit of fluctuation and then most likely it's going to continue moving upward. Same with the Ethereum and same with the Solana. Actually, Solana is the only one that it's positive on the change percentage today. <laughs> um, okay, and that's it. Guys, we cover everything. You are well equipped to trade the London session, I believe so. <laughs> and um, yeah, I wish everyone to have a fantastic weekend um one more time if you need any coaching please visit our website or if you need any services maybe you want some uh, customized um, technical analysis some more details like i offer these services to uh, some group of traders and individual traders maybe you want let's say on the euro us dollar on the hourly time frame all the entry points stop loss and all this stuff you can message me and i have packages um uh, very very affordable for retail traders and traders they trade proper um so yeah feel free to reach out so here is the website with a one-on-one -on -one coaching you can check it out and also with all the services so guys i will leave you for now it was a, a very uh it was great to host this webinar for you again Happy trading and I will see you all on Monday at the same time. Thank you guys.